This is how to play Molly's Chambers by Kings of Leon and this is of course part of the Annie Guitar Band program and this is a great example of just a stripped down band song. This is a four piece rock band just as we were and it's the quintessential kind of rock band song. Uh, we've got a simple riff, simple, you know, not super easy, it's not very beginner friendly but it is super simple and then we've got simple structure to this song an intermediate plus uh, level solo, uh, the main solo to it, and I'll be showing you all those parts in this tutorial. I'm of course using uh, my Boss Katana on the crunch setting to teach this tutorial. I use the Victory Amp uh, on quite a clean sound and then boosting it with Channel 2 on this particular one um, to give it a bit more of a volume change with the gain up to about half. Uh, let's look at the riff tutorial now. So we're just strumming a power chord, an F sharp power chord really, so that middle finger doesn't have to be down unless you're going for this, okay, which I'll talk you through in a second. We are playing, which is a strumming pattern of down, down, up, down, up, down, up, and every time you do an up strum, you're lifting off your first finger here. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. See how the strumming coordinates with what this first finger is doing? And the rest of the fingers just remain still. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. We have to change that pattern. Just strum, just using the wrist, just a flick of the wrist. Nice and loose, but a, a small movement, but very loose. No tension in the forearm. And if you really can't get that pattern, as I've had some feedback that some people struggle with, because I've done a tutorial for this before, I would tap it out. So we're gonna do We're gonna have a go at doing that. This is only for those that really struggle to add that extra bit in with the riff. Another couple of examples um, of this same thing happening would be That's Entertainment by The Jam. Da -da -dan! You know, that little extra thing. There's a free tutorial that I've got for that on YouTube. That would be the best example, just to work on this with a, a couple of song examples. But essentially we'd be doing down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So uh, right, right, left, right, left, right, left for the main riff. And then it is just down, up, down, so right, left, right. But what we're focusing on here is not the strumming technique, not the riff or the uh, notes that we're playing. We're just looking at it from a rhythm point of view. And if you can tap out the rhythm, you can probably strum it. It might take a little bit of practice, but down, down, up, down, up, down, up, right, right, left, right, left, right. And then that down, up, down. So right, left, right, 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 left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right. Guarantee, if you can tap that, you can strum it. You just have to work through the little problems that you're specifically having, but you will get there for sure. So you only have to hold down that middle finger and the first finger on the finished strings, which you can do. That will get us through the opening. It's the same thing in the verses, of course, but we only have to play the thickest three strings because we're just playing the power chord. And of course, how hard we pick. Really affects our tone, especially when we're using a valve amp, but it's still heard with the boss guitar. In a verse. In a 
chorus, for example. The chords for the chorus. Uh, we are going for the bar chords here, I'm afraid, but of course bar chords are much easier on electric guitar. We have a B bar chord, which is at the seventh fret with the first finger. We have an A bar chord, and then back to our riff. Strum it using exactly the same pattern as before. So down, down, and down, and down, and down, and down, and down, and down. The second time round, B chord, which is at the seventh fret, to ten. Okay. Is that your, your pistol? Back to there. So you want it? She's got it. That's fifth fret to the second. This is gonna change your life. She's got your your pistol. Mars turn is gonna change your life. Mars turn is gonna change your life. Now let's have a quick play along with the band. You know what's happening by now. This is going to be a slightly slowed down version of the intro verse and the chorus, so the first minute to a minute and a half of the song. After that, there's a lot of repetition for the rhythm parts. Um, so if you're just playing the rhythm parts, this is going to be the main bit for you. And then we're going to have a look at all the other lead parts and other sections after this next clip. Uh, give it a watch, have a go at playing along, and then I'll see you after this clip. So they're essentially all the rhythm parts of the song. Hopefully that was a bit of fun for you. If you're not used to jamming along, I hope that is helping you. Let me know how you're getting on with this whole play along element and the band bits in the comments below. I really want to help you guys. If it's going well, if it's going badly, let me know how you're getting on and I will try and help you more even after this video is kind of out there and uploaded. Um, in the verses, we have this little line that goes like this. This goes in between when I'm singing and when the Kings of Leon are singing, so it's an easy lead part to do. If you are going to be singing it, I would do that part as I did. So slow, she's burning through your soul and whispers in your ear. And what's happening here is we're using this little triangle shape. First and third finger are both on the second string. Middle finger is at the... So this is at the fifth fret and seventh fret. Middle fingers on the third string at the sixth fret. My thumb's over the top because I'm a rock guitar player and this is what I like. This is, uh, if I'm in this kind of position, I have my fingers like this ready to string bend, which we'll be doing for the solo. So it's kind of a good habit for some things and this is one of them, not everything, but uh, the main riff is just between those two strings. And then at the start of the bar, we also strum the, the open string, the thinnest string. So first and third, all the fingers need to be right on their tips. That is that part. So 
same rhythm as... Well, that is what I was playing at the very least. And then we'd move up to just doing little triad shapes, which I would probably add, I believe I did add my third finger here. For the chorus, at the very minimum, you want it. So this is a thinner three strings of a B bar chord. And these are triads, because they're just three notes out of our major chords. Second time around. That's up to a D at the 10th fret. 10th fret of the first finger. And then back to the riff. So in total, you want it. She's got it. Now it's gonna change out of my hand. She's got your, your pistol. And that first finger is just going from being flat and barring two strings to being on its tip. So it goes from this to this. That is a technique to practice. Going from one to the other and that first finger kind of going flat, very kind of flat and pinched, and then right up onto the tip so the thinnest string rings out. The only section left now is the solo. Let's have a look at that solo now. Here's a close up on the solo and this is pretty accurate to the original Kings of Leon recording. So this is all based around the F minor pentatonic position. P position one, or the, almost the F sharp chord really. This is up at 14th fret, and then it moves down to second fret. Same scale, same position. It's like position one to position one. And we start off with a unison bend of the F sharp note. 17th fret and 14th fret. Of course, we've got to have our um, hand on this angle, thumb over the top, and we're bending with the wrist, not with the fingers. My fingers are pretty still, and they're actually being moved by the wrist moving up and down. That's a unison bending technique. After that, The same move on both strings really, on string two, bend, unbent, pick, bend, unbend, pick. Pick again, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. That first half. Then. So we're bending up and then the little finger is here and we hit both of those notes together. Importantly, we don't bend up the little finger note, so we don't bend up string two, only string three, using the normal string bending technique, but keep the little finger still. Both strings together, both two and three together. And then I'm just hitting string two. Bend, bend, pick. Bend, bend, pick. One last time. Three, four.
Uh, no, so it sounded a bit out of tune then, that's because I accidentally bent this little finger up. Okay, so we need to keep that. Keep that little finger still. A bit more up to speed. Then we move down here and we've basically got this Chuck Berry style. One, two, three, four. Okay, and it's um, at the fourth fret with the third and little finger pushing up. You don't have to pick it again, just pick and bend, unbend. Flat first finger at the second and third string again. Uh, the second fret, single note, just the third finger here, and they're all the notes in this section of the solo. In total, so that was. Actually, on that last section, I've got gauge 10 strings on this, so this is quite difficult. If it's really difficult for you and you're wanting to do solos, try gauge 9 strings. Uh, perhaps it'll make it easier. But third and little finger are there, and I'm actually supporting this bend with the first two fingers on the third string. It won't be heard, you know, it won't make a difference to the sound, but it's a lot more comfortable a bend because I've got all four fingers with good purchase on the strings, and I can really get hold of them. get that sound. That lower part in total. Two, three, four, one. In total. One, two, three, four. These all sections, let's have a full play along to the band now. You can slow this down if you wish using the feature on YouTube. Uh, but you know what you're doing now. You know, hopefully have a little bit better understanding of how to learn these songs and how to play along with them from the training that you've done already in this series. Hope you have loads of fun. Here it comes, Molly's Chambers. Change your mind. She's got your, your pistol. 
So that's how to play Molly's Chambers. I hope that's been a lot of fun for you. The solo is for sure challenging. You can get more help in my lead guitar courses available at andyguitar.co.uk. But I hope all the rhythm sections were something that you can do. And of course, you can check out more videos from this series right now.